Going in depth tonight, COVID changed a lot of things, even health coverage. At the start of the pandemic, millions of people were covered by Medicaid through a Coronavirus Response Act. And recipients were re-enrolled annually. Well, now 14 million people could lose access. The continuous enrollment provision is now over. Fox Carolina's Earth Mondale reports how many people could be impacted in our state and what recipients should know. Nothing moves without coming through us. Nothing in the world. Combat veteran Lee Maltry spent almost 20 years in the Air Force working in the Traffic Management Office, or TMO, moving everything from people to manpower vehicles and parts. We touch every aspect of transportation. Water, truck, rail, air, hazardous material, and classified material. As a veteran, he receives VA health care benefits, but he says not even 100% coverage means a man is injury, accident, or disease proof. Health care should rank number one in your life. He was diagnosed with prostate cancer in his 50s, and it's the reason this survivor works as the health care advocate with the Palmetto Project and runs the nonprofit Choose to Live for Men LLC, helping people navigate the health care system. Health care for the marketplace, the Affordable Care Act and our Obamacare, Medicare, Medicaid. And he's aware of the change in Medicaid coverage now affecting millions of Americans. Life can happen. You can be out there skateboarding at 16 years old, hit your head. Now you're disabled at 16. Okay, so don't think Medicaid is just for people who are older. No. Effective April 1st, Medicaid recipients began receiving letters from the Department of Health and Human Services. Recipients will need to fill it out and return it. About 25 to 35,000 per month over the course of the next year will we'll receive a notification from Medicaid. Some of them may still qualify for Medicaid. Others of them will have to go and find other source for their coverage. Insurance source owner Guy Fury, who spent almost three decades in insurance, says it's important for Medicaid recipients to know the renewal date. Not everybody that has Medicaid will lose it all at once. Some people won't lose Medicaid at all. They'll still qualify for it. So what's the reason for disqualification? Fury says it's a number of factors. If you've had a change in income, change in family size, uh, change in, in, in where you live, those are factors that will affect your eligibility for continued Medicaid. For those who no longer qualify for coverage, the Affordable Care Act's marketplace at healthcare.gov is one option, but Fury says choosing the right plan could be like drinking water from a fire hose. There's a whole lot of moving parts. Fury advises people with questions to bring in a professional, calling health insurance an important decision more people will soon make. If you buy the wrong plan that doesn't allow you to use the doctor or the hospital that you want, your financial house is not in balance. Arthur Mondale, Fox, Carolina News.